everyone. Happy Tuesday. Well, it's not real happy for me. <laughs> my back is killing me today. Max, my back is killing me today. I don't know what I did yesterday. Um, I had no problems. I don't know if I slept funny. Um, I don't know what's going on, but my back is killing me. So, not much has got uh, done today. <laughs> Not much at all. Oh my goodness. I did go to the store though. Um, I had to get, um, I thought Magnum was over there. Oh, he must have jumped off the porch. Um, got a couple things I needed for the house, grocery wise, and I've just done nothing um, the rest of the day. Oh my goodness. I, uh, I've been popping the tile, extra state Tylenols. Oh, it's just not been a good day today, you guys. Um, so I wanted to get on, besides complain about my, besides complaining about my back, I wanted to get on and also um, tell you guys that I did not give the boys the plaque off in their dinner last night. Um, after I was done filming, I decided after I read on the... Um, jar after I was done videotaping I read on the jar that it said do not give to dogs or either dogs or cats with hypothyroidism um and then that got me to thinking well I wonder if this is okay for Mozzie with his liver issues so I decided I'm gonna wait until um Mozzie goes to get blood work Thursday which is in two days so I'm gonna to talk to the doctor about that product first, um, and make sure. And I'm gonna I'm gonna ask her even if the dog doesn't have liver issue. I'm gonna actually when the when the vet tech comes out to get Mozzie, I'm gonna take the container. I'm gonna give it to her and say, could you please have Dr. Pearson look this over and tell me what she thinks? Um, is it okay for Mozzie with his liver issues? Um, and if it's not, is it okay even for all my other dogs? So. Um, I thought about that yesterday after I was done videotaping. Um, we better check that out. Yes. We better check that out. We don't want anything interfering with um, Mozzie's liver enzymes. Uh, we don't want them going up. We don't want anything messing with his um, liver. So, watch out, Max. I'm going to kick it. Watch out. Oh my goodness, that was the biggest moth that ever... I've ever seen that just flew by my head. Oh my goodness. Oh, maybe it was a butterfly. I don't know. It looked like a moth. <laughs> I'm not very fond of bugs, if you guys can tell. That's another thing. I've decided, remember I said I've decided um, the very extreme heat. I could not, I don't think now that I could ever move down south. I used to think maybe I could, but um, extreme heat and probably even bigger bugs than that are up here in Michigan. <laughs> I don't think I could deal with either. So I've decided for sure I'll probably be living in Michigan the rest of my life. <laughs> oh my goodness. We did, I think I've mentioned before, we did live in Tennessee, Spring Hill, Tennessee. Um, oh, not very long, less than a year. Um, we lived there and we moved back um, due to when we, when we got to Spring Hill, Tennessee, um, the very next day, my cousin passed away, and then about a week after that, my husband's aunt passed away, and it made us realize that we wanted to be back in Michigan with family, so it was very hard when we first moved down there. It did not make <laughs> what we thought was going to be a fresh new start um, start off very well, so yeah, we both got very homesick to be with our family. Um, because we couldn't come back for the funerals because we spent all our money to move. Um, and it was very hard not being home with our family. So anyways, I digress. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not going to give that to the boys until thir until I find out Thursday from Dr. Pearson what she thinks of it. So look at these boys. <laughs> Mozzie, are you liking getting some stink on you? Yes. <laughs> 
they were all out here this morning uh, rolling in the after the dew was gone they were all out here rolling in the grass and I didn't have my phone on me because they were all like it was almost like they were all six in a row ro rolling in the grass yes Miggy why are you eating grass why are you eating the grass where's your ball where's your ball where's your ball at you didn't bring it back all right, guys, I thought I would go outside and, or I am outside. I thought I'd go outside over to, um, into the garage, pull my car out and show you guys the inside of the car because a lot of people aren't familiar with the car I got. If you saw my video yesterday, um, I talked about going to look at vehicles and I ended up trading, um, in my Kia Soul and got a different car. So a Ford Transit Connect six passenger wagon so I thought I'd go out there and show you guys the inside because a lot of people were curious about it so let me um, finish being out here with the boys and I'll show you that all right here's the car again for those who um, wanted to see the inside like I said it's called the Ford Transit Connect um, it's tall it's taller than me tons of headspace in this car tons um, like I said, it's a six-seater. Um, let me show you the inside here. The driver's seat. Here's the interior. I hope it's videotaping good because it's so sunny. I can barely see anything of what I'm filming on my screen right now. So here's the um, front dash. And there's this um, spot up here. Let me see if I can fit it in camera. I don't know where, cause it's considered actually a commercial, kind of a commercial vehicle. Um, there's room up here. Um, as you can see, there's storage space up here, probably for paperwork or whatever, but you could stash some stuff up in there. I hope that showed on video. I'll have to rewatch this and see, but that is um, the driver and front passenger area and then we got a sliding door here now I have two of my seats um, down because I was out um, shopping so I needed space to put all my um, bags so in the middle here there are two bucket seats you can also get them with a bench seat here and then it comes with two bucket seats in the back um, so you can get a seven passenger Ford Transit Connect. This is just a six. These are two bucket seats. Like I said, I have this seat and then the back seat folded down um, so I could fit everything I was buying in here. So um, let me show you from the back. Uh, I don't know if you can tell how high the roof is. So um, it feels very spacious with all the headroom. Let me close this door. Let me try not to show my license plate here. And this hatch here goes up so high. <laughs> My husband is six, six, two, six, three, and he can fit under this and his head does not even touch it. Any other kind of hatchback, My Kia, he was hitting his head constantly. So can you guys tell how spacious that is? How tall? Um, so yeah, so you can also fold these two up and then you have this whole back you can fit stuff in and uh, just go shopping all day and just load it full of stuff. <laughs> yeah, so I really like it. I really like it. So there you go. For those who are wondering what the inside looked like, let me shut this. I can hear Magnum crying. Uh, looks like my son washed his car and left stuff hanging on the fence and left a bucket out. He never puts anything away. Um, so yeah, there it is. And the color, people were commenting on the color. It's called, oh gosh, I can't remember the name. Something Silver. I'll pop it up on the screen. I'll look at the paperwork and see if it says it. Something Silver. I can't remember the name of it, but I really like it. I really like it. It's not a typical car that you see on the road, except for um, the cargo, the Ford Transit Connect cargoes for uh, commercial work for businesses but it's it's a nice ride um, tons of space for me and I like it because I like boxy cars I don't know I'm weird that way my husband thinks I'm weird too <laughs> 
I love boxy cars. I don't like a lot of the cars with um, a lot of curves and stuff, but this being tall and boxy, so much headroom, so much more space in the inside to carry things. Now I don't have to wait for my husband to get home with his truck if I buy something in a big box or or whatever. So yeah, I'm really, really liking it. And I'm, because my Kia would have ended probably right about here. So I have all this extra space right here. And now everybody, um, say we take my mother-in-law, we all load up and go somewhere. We can all fit comfortably because the Kia was a five seater, but that back seat, um, I wouldn't want to be back there with three people. <laughs> it's a tight fit. So a um, lot more space to uh, haul everybody if we go out to dinner or um, go to family gatherings or something. We can all fit in there and ride in one vehicle. So I really like it. So all right, guys, I'm going to get back out in the backyard and go play with the boys. I can hear Magnum out there crying because he can hear me and he doesn't like that I'm on the other side of the fence. <laughs> all right, guys. Can you guys see that? I saw that little schnauzer nose. I saw that little schnauzer nose. Look at that little schnauzer nose. Who is that? Oh, I think that's Milo. I think it's Milo. Is that you, Milo? Who's that? Is that Mozzie? <laughs> I think that's Mozzie. I see the very wet beard. That's usually Mozzie. <laughs> Who else is over there? Who else? Who else is over there? Who's that? Oh, Max. Hi, Max. Oh, hi. Who's that? Is that still Mozzie? <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. You guys are so cute. All right, I'm coming back to play with you. Thank you.